What is something that you would never confess to your family? That my mother, who always said time and time again that she will never turn into her mother, dot has turned into her mother. My sisters and I have formed a pact. If any of us start exhibiting signs of becoming like our parents it is the solemn duty of the rest of the sisters to bring that bitch back to reality. Or in the event that this fails, execute her. We have all accepted that this is for the greater good. Yikes, that's my biggest fear and my fiancé tells me he sees it happening. My extended family thinks I've had no career or salary advancement for 10 years. I play a bumbling idiot with them who just can't catch a break. Reason being, they're a cavalcade of self-inflicted sob stories and GoFundMe grifters. I don't want to be hit up for loans every other week. I'm actually a senior manager at an established consulting firm Monsieur. If they had a good reason for their misery other than got drunk with the money for bills in didn't pay them, I would help them out. Pretending to be a struggling idiot to flex any attempts at soliciting me for money. Note, I live out of state from them and they don't travel. So I only have to maintain this foolish parade for Thanksgiving and Christmas. My parents are in on it. Plot twist, your entire family is a bunch of millionaires playing the same con. I like it. Funded, put it on ABC for two seasons, then see if you can get a spin-off. I joined the Navy to get away from them. Not because I felt some sort of patriotic duty like they tell people. I liked it. I found a purpose. I got great training that got me the job I have today. But I did it because I hated it at home. The military is a great option for people looking to start over. Especially if money is an issue for moving away or out. I would never tell my grandmother how much of an idiot I think my uncle is. She buries her head in the sand about hi monsieur. Edit. I'm probably not your wife. Cousin. Nicer sister. Thanks for asking. I think you're related to me. Edit. I'm the niece. I use Reddit. Both of my parents hate me talking to people online because they think I am going to get kidnapped or raped or something. So I'm not allowed to post, comment, like anything by people they don't know. That's such a silly fear. On an unrelated note, what's your home address? Aha uh -huh, nice try FBI. Fuck. That I'm really not as smart or motivated as they claim I am a sure I'm fucking stupid and I kind of just wanna sit in my apartment and do nothing until I die at 30. That's kinda what I thought. But here I am. 32 years old and not dead. Call it procrastination I guess. I give myself gold on Reddit. You're fine with telling them about the Kuman ship guzzling? You aren't? He's not on that level with his family yet. The code for prize clause to work correctly. Depends on make but most modern key code ones use factory code 5318008. Old Coca-Cola machines code is 4231. Starting from the top, so forth, one dune, then up two, then down one, then up two, and you can access the settings, and change THR price. I used to drop sodas down to like 10 cents and buy a bunch. THR and set the price to like $10 each lol. Hey Satan, anything related to porn, I talk to strangers online. And guess what mom, I haven't been murdered by a catfish yet, greater than yet, that's the spirit, never give up on your dreams. Up until about a year ago, I said I would take to my grave that my stepdad molested me for almost 30 years. But I outed the dude 8 months ago. Cheers. Edit. I've never felt so much love from strangers. I love Reddit. I'm going to spend tomorrow reading everyone's comments. You all matter. And if this post encourages even one person to speak their truth, it was worth it. Thank you, kind strangers. How sad I am, monsieur. Almost any of my thoughts, feelings, and beliefs on anything. I don't think that's really a bad thing. They don't need to know any of that. Damn, that hit me hard. I also tried to appear happy to them. Even after going through depression in a point of my life. And even when they are explicitly asking me, are you happy? Quote dot. For me it feels like it's better off they don't know. 
I also feel a great deal of shame about it. My younger aunt and I almost fooled around when we were kids. We didn't know about each other and when we both met she was 13. I was 15. As we grew up there was a ton of flirting and sexual tension. It never came to anything thank God. But we had some intimate conversations around it. Oddly enough both of us are very close today and have even spoke about how ridiculous the whole thing was. Asterisk edit for some FAQ in comments. Asterisk. Technically my half aunt. Mom had me at 16. Grandpa had an affair with another woman. Produced my aunt two years later. And subsequently left grandmother for other woman. For the record, both of those women are lovely. I rarely see the grandmother who lives far away but the other woman lives in the same state and sees her great-grandson and I with some frequency. Neither of us want to bone the other anymore. And at least one of us is happily married. We're both embarrassed but I think she's more embarrassed than I am monsieur. That being said, she is very attractive and younger me fantasizes about it a lot and I will always have those fantasies with me. We have children and those children see each other and frequently attend each other's birthday parties yada yada. We've rarely talked about it, but when we have it's very dismissive like what the hell was wrong with us type thing. Obviously, it's always there for me and I'm pretty sure for her. I can't interact with her without thinking. Hey remember that time we talked about fooling around and then never did. Uncle, nice and aunt, nephew relationships are historically common enough to have an actual term for them. Avunculate marriage. That I handcraft cast in silicone, nerdy sex toys and pay bills with dong money. Do you have the website? For research, it's under construction since I changed workshop. But I'll PM it to you if you're interested. Once it's back up, I really don't enjoy spending time with the monsieur I've been the black sheep since I was a child. And it sucks when the entire family thinks of you as the mean one. Then wonder why, you don't have any interest in spending time with the monsieur. I'm the picky, selfish, resting bitch face black sheep to my family. I will admit I was misbehaved when I was a kid 10 plus years ago. But I'm not a child anymore. They just refuse to think of me as any different than I was and keep bringing up the past also. It's not picky to not want to eat off of dirty, crusty plates dad. All I want is to feel loved and secure but I don't feel that it is family. In the worst part of my alcoholism I tried to overdose on sleeping pills. In the way to the hospital my mom said it might have been better for everyone if I just did the deed. I haven't forgiven her and I don't know if I can. Understandable. In third grade, I cheated on my history exam this year in fourth grade. I stole my Uncle Max's toupee and I glued it on my face when I was Moses in my Hebrew school play. In fifth grade, I knocked my sister Evie down the stairs and I blamed it on the dog. When my mom sent me to the summer camp for fat kids and then they served lunch I went nuts and I pigged out and they kicked me out. But the worst thing I ever done. I mixed a pot of fake puke at home and then I went to this movie theater. Hid the puke in my jacket. Climbed up to the balcony and then. Then. I made a noise like this. Wah 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 hua. And then I dumped it over the side. All over the people in the audience. And then. This was horrible. All the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other. I never felt so bad in my entire life. I'm starting to like this kid. I had to read a huge chunk of this before I realized it was a quote. That I accidentally got her. My mom. A non-vegetarian hot dog one time. I just didn't think when I was ordering. She thought it was the best veggie dog ever and had a great night's sleep that night. I will take that to the grave with me. Edit. Clarifying who her is. That's how you know the kitchen fucked up your gluten-free order. It tastes too good. Every time I've gotten the best whatever at a restaurant I've paid for it for months. I met a random Redditor for sex and quite enjoyed it. Greater than I met a random Redditor for sex. Was it me? Greater than and quite enjoyed it. Obviously not me. Never mind. 
I can enjoy meeting you for sex though you're not really Rondo Monsieur. This literally how I had sex for the first time in college. There's a subreddit devoted to posting nude pics of yourself from my college. He lived a block away from me. Hooked up a few times for a month and stopped after I decided I couldn't handle his eating cheese. Sandwiches in bed. Also only called me when he was drunk. A year later I was watching Jeopardy with my family and was very shocked to see how monsieur he went on to be a three-day champion. Six years later I discover several porn videos of him, and he has been very well received as far as the comment section tells me. This person and I have had a very strange connection through various forms of media and sex. That was a wild fucking ride. Fetishes lol. Amen to that one. I'm really happy to only see them once or twice a year due to living 3,000 miles away. I just can't stand them this year they all gossip and talk shit and spin their wheels so much you can't even have a normal conversation with any of them this year it's all drama and always has been. I never understood how and why I was so depressed my entire life. Found escapism through alcohol and partying. Since I've lived across the country I'm sober. Have a super awesome family and I barely ever see them. It's great that I don't feel like part of the family. I feel like I don't belong and like I am just a substitute for when my brother isn't around. I don't feel respected or wanted. I feel like my girlfriend's family likes me more than they do and if I had the funds to I would have moved out long ago and they probably wouldn't have seen or heard from me since apart from maybe Christmas and that is only because of my cousins. My husband knows, but I am very apathetic and don't feel a lot. I do feel and have feelings but not the same as other people seem to. I know what I should feel and have learned how to react when I need to. But I tend to truly only feel more extreme emotions and the rest of the time I am just content or neutral. So that's the word to describe that, yeah, I think I'm that too. That I was sexually abused by a friend of my mother's when I was about 7 years old. My brother was by a different person and that is known. There is nothing to be gained. I k maybe personally you don't think there's anything to gain. But telling your family and outing whoever did that to you makes it harder for them to do it again. To other kids. You didn't deserve what happened to you. And no one else deserves it to happen to them as you're even if it's been years. If they're out and free and still have access to kids. It's worth it to say. Nice try mom that I started masturbating every day at age 9. They know. My mom set me up with one of her nurse co-workers and a few months later I had to go have Z's on in. Abortion. So did you contribute the abor or the Tion? He brought the coat hanger. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.